Recently, I got interested in electric skateboards, and uh, when I looked at the price of buying one, it's about a thousand dollars for a half decent board. So I thought, well, let's just make one. So this video is actually about what components are actually needed for building your own electric skateboard, and what is the minimum cost of building an electric skateboard without compromising on the safety um and the quality of the skateboard so let's get started i know a lot of you might not like excel a lot but i love microsoft excel and hopefully by the end of the video you will understand why so this is a list of items and this is just a list of uh description of the items to help you guys and then here we're gonna it'll go through each item and fill in the cost of each item and at, at the end of the video we're just gonna sum everything up and see What's the minimum cost of building the electric skateboard? My go-to website for parts is aliexpress.com. You guys might have a different preference depending on the place you live. You might go to eBay, but even eBay is nowadays selling um, AliExpress stuff. Uh, seems like everything is made in China nowadays. So um, I won't be comparing the websites a lot because they have almost the same stuff on anyway. So uh, let's just look at AliExpress. First, uh, we will obviously need a skateboard. Now, if you have a skateboard of your own, uh, you will save a significant amount of money. But if you don't like me, you'll have to buy one. First crossroads is whether we buy the skateboard or we build it. These are the parts you need. You need the deck, the trucks, the wheels. Um, and uh, if you look at skateboard parts on um, AliExpress, you're going to see that, uh, you know, the parts are going to cost you $30 and then the um, actual deck is going to cost you anywhere around $15 to $20. And after I did the math, they came to about uh, $45 in total. But um, I didn't get these parts because I had no experience in assembling a skateboard. So I just went for um, a built skateboard. And this one had good ratings um, and it looked pretty um, decent. And it was only for uh, $45. So I went ahead and ordered that one for myself. So the cost of our skateboard uh, is going to be $45 either way. Uh, and the these we don't need so we I'm just gonna slide this cost here just for reference But it's not gonna show up in our final cost here now We have the skateboard and let's make it electric and these are the things you need to do that The first thing is obviously the motor and there's a lot of motors and there's a lot of confusion But today we are not be going deep into what kind of motor you need, but this is the one that I ordered It's a, a simple motor. It's not very fancy uh, it's not very expensive either. So a decent motor you can get for about $35. Just make sure it's um, uh, above 270 or 200 kV. So this seemed like a pretty decent motor. It had uh, 1800 um, watts of power. And so I went ahead and ordered that one. So let's just add $35 for our motor. And now to run the motor, obviously you need an ESC or an electronic speed controller. Now, the one that I bought actually in a hurry without checking the facts is this one. But uh, the most important thing that I want you to learn from this video is don't buy this ESC because this one said um, ESC for electric longboard skateboard controller. And I thought, well, this is for a longboard, so this might be at least 50 amperes. But surprise, surprise, this one is only 10 amperes. So I'm pretty sure that when I get it and install it, it's going to blow up in my face. But it's going to be fun. So yeah, don't buy this one, um, even though this one has a built-in remote and a Bluetooth um, receiver. So um, I bought this for $40, um, but you're not going to buy it, so we'll move it to the side. Now the ESE that I want you to buy is this guy, something like this. Um, I want you to buy an ESE which is at least 50 amperes, if not more. 
So probably something like this. This is going to set you back $50 at least. Um, and this is an ESC, not a VESC, which is a VESC. So if you go ahead and click on one of these uh, 50 ampere ones, you're going to see that um, these are, um, this is actually uh, what you need. Um, it says it can work from 3 to 13 cell LiPo in series, um, 240 amperes instantaneous and 50 amperes continuous current is supported, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, $50 for your ESC, don't go cheap like I did because uh, you're just going to blow it up and end up ordering uh, the more expensive one and it's just $10 extra anyway. So let's um, say ESE is $50, but this ESE doesn't come with a remote. So um, you can get a remote controller for about $20. Um, batteries. Batteries is a big topic. Some people um, also go for LiPo batteries, which is uh, basically just these. You know, just um, a sheet of um, lithium polymer. Uh, but uh, don't go for these, go for the lithium ion ones, uh, which are, um, you know, 3.7 volt cells. If you go for a lithium ion pack, it's um, gonna be a little expensive at 150 bucks. You can get something cheaper like this for about 10 bucks, and uh, that's okay as long as you're uh, getting a good quality one and not a, a shitty pack. What I decided is I'm going to buy the battery separately and then make my own pack, something like this. So let's go to uh, the batteries, the individual cells. Um, and now um, these, these are called 18650 batteries and they're sold basically everywhere. If you can get your hands on good batteries like LG or Panasonic or anything like that, just make sure they're original and not a copy or a fake so you would need uh, uh, 3000 milliampere hours at least of these batteries uh, which are 3.7 volts and you could get them for about uh, you know five dollars or six dollars for two cells so uh, we're, uh, i'm going to build a 6s pack which means it's going to have six batteries in series of these so you need three pairs times two is six uh, which is going to set you back about 15 dollars so let's put 15 here and now for building a pack with these batteries is not safe because they can overcharge or over discharge and basically blow up and be fatal so what we need is also a bms or a battery management system for a 6s which we can also find easily for about a dollar or two uh something like this so let's just say two dollars for a bms uh, we need nickel strips to solder the batteries together, which would be $10. And obviously we're going to need a charger to charge our batteries. And six, since we're having six 4-volt batteries in series, we're going to have a total of 24 volts. So we need a charger, which is 24 volts. Um, and you can find one easily. Let's uh, go ahead and search for it. Lion 24-volt battery charger. You could get a decent charger for about $20. So uh, let's put 20 down here. And then you're going to need some cables and connectors and miscellaneous stuff. So I'm just going to put $10 total for the connectors. And these are the type of connectors and cables that I recommend you use. But you can go ahead and do your own research. So the total cost for this, and this is why I love Excel. Let's just select these and auto sum. Hmm, $207. So this is the real deal. This is the real cost of building a skateboard. And these are the parts you need. Um, I've already ordered all these parts, as you could see from my um, orders on AliExpress. Uh, if you want to follow the tutorial and build your own electric skateboard, 
you can go ahead and buy the parts yourself and then follow along with me while we build the electric skateboard it's not very hard but it does require some soldering skills and if you don't know how to solder you can instead of buying these batteries separately you can just buy a 6s battery pack and be done with it so make sure you get all your electronics from a reliable supplier make sure you check the ratings make sure you um, check the um, amperage on the ESCs when you're buying them and you should be safe. So that's it for today but I'm gonna receive these packages soon and we're gonna start building our electric skateboard. So thanks for listening in and uh, I will see you next time.